Hi guys! So today I am going to be doing another haul video. I'm going to have quite a few hauls coming up because I've been doing a lot of shopping. But to justify myself, I do always start buying Christmas presents in like October, November and then I go on these websites to look for things for my family and my friends and then I find stuff that I like and I'm like, ooh, I kind of want that but I shouldn't and then I get an email from the website and they're like, oh my god, 20% off, 30% off and I'm like, well I didn't want that thing and I might as well get it whilst it's like on sale and then I've got like 20 things in my basket and like two of them are presents, so. I got a bean box of shit. Today I am doing a everything five pounds haul. I did my trying out their website video a little while ago and uh, I found it a bit hit and miss but I think I've worked out like if you really look up close at the pictures you can sort of get a sense of what kind of fabric it is. Don't just look at the picture you know from far away and think oh that looks nice buy like really inspect look at the material, look at the way it's shining, look if you can see through it at all and then you'll get an idea for what you're actually going to be buying. So yeah, I've gotten pretty good at finding the nice stuff. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I do these videos often as well as a lot of other stuff that you might like, so. Okay, this, this thing, this thing here I got is a blue cardigan it's got like metallic thread in it and it's quite thick it's quite heavy it's comfortable and I think it's quite cute but the one thing I will say is that when I took it out of the packet it smelled so bad like you can still kind of smell it but not as much because I've had it out to like air out a bit but it smelled so bad and it, I think it was just like a it's been packaged away in a warehouse somewhere for a really long time bad smell like it was not nice whatsoever I was like oh my god but uh it's bluffing my mouth besides that I think it's really cute I think it's what size is it I bought a 12 to 14 because I really like baggy cardigans and I thought this would look cute with um me but I like cardigans because they're cozy and so that's that's it really. Uh, yep, yeah, end of the haul. This is a pair of shoes that I bought. Uh, no idea what brand they are because they're literally not branded whatsoever. No, no name inside or on the bottom. They're just brandless shoes, but they're a size six, and they're just pink trainers. And uh, I can see that the, the rubber is like really thin because you can even see through it, like you can see bits of black that is the uh, fabric underneath showing through, but they are super comfortable, like they're very soft on the inside and they're alright to walk in. Pop down to the shops in them, walk around my flat cleaning in them, go to the gym rowing in them, you know, multi-purpose shoes, very cute, I love the pink, yes. Need to stop throwing things on the floor because people live below me. Okay, so this next thing is a jumper. Now the funny thing about this is that they've cut the label in half and like removed the middle bit. <laughs> so I can't see what brand it was, but it's a font that I recognise. I recognise this font and it's bothering me because I can't find anything that I own that matches it. I feel like it might have been like an old label or something and they don't have it anymore so I don't have one but like I recognise it and I feel like it's like a Primark or H&M kind of thing but it is actually really soft, it's really soft so I'm actually quite happy about this purchase so uh, yeah it's really nice. Like that's the funny thing about this website because it's, it's a mix of like really kind of crappy stuff from unlabeled factories and then it's like de-labeled high street store stuff so some things are actually pretty good because you end up spending five pounds or something that would have cost you like 20 30 originally i got a coat right this one they haven't removed the label from because it's like all sewn in to the back but it is atmosphere which i'm pretty sure it's primark i think so i think primark coats are like 30 40 pounds i think so five pounds for a cute little promo coat that is actually really nice um I yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty chuffed with that 
I got this in a size 12. I feel like I could have gone for a 10 because it's a little bit, a little bit baggy. Like I feel like I could have gotten it a bit more fitted around the waist, but I do like big coats too because they're more cozy and warm. So, you know, I'm, I'm content with a 12 and it's just a, it's just a cute little, cute little burgundy coat and I like burgundy so and it is pretty warm so yeah cute burgundy coat for five pounds this next thing was definitely a sort of risky risky test I got some underwear I tried it because I did need a new bra but I couldn't be bothered to go into central to go to Primark and get a new bra so I thought oh I'll just see if there's one online and they had this they sell all like sets so I thought well I might as well get a set it's the same price and uh, I got this cute little set obviously I'm not going to try this on not on the video, I have tried it on, it fits, so that's all good. Um, just a cute set, really comfy t-shirt bra kind of thing, pink and black, very nice. Um, yeah, so honestly, like, they feel about the same sort of, um, just gonna have to put that on the floor too, they feel the same sort of quality as like Primark, H&M bras, so if you're used to those, then I would say go for it. I got this shirt. <laughs> it has like a frilly frilly front to it and gold buttons and I just I love frilly shirts I always have I've always been a fan of the sort of like Victorian-y gothic -y style uh, with like the frilly shirts and all the collars and the, and the lace and I, I really like it and uh, I wanted it in black but didn't have it in black so I thought you know what I'm gonna go with orange because why the fuck not Okay, this top I actually love. This is adorable. It's a little crop top, like a crossed, I don't know words for things. Um, it's like a little t-shirt and it's really nice. Like it fits really nicely. It's like cropped just at the right part of your stomach and it fits really comfortably around the neck and the arms and it's just so cute. They have like trousers, but I didn't like the look of it like together. So I'm like, well, am I ever gonna wear those trousers? So I just got the t-shirt. And uh, yeah, I really like it, it's super cute. Okay, these are nice, I like these. I got some leggings and they're like army print, but with pink in them, like a really bright pink, cause I'm kinda into green and pink at the moment. Um, so I really like these and I think they go nice with my trainers, you know, little little gym outfit, you know? Or at home, when I plan to go to the gym, but I don't because I cook mozzarella sticks instead. You know, the usual. Next thing I am pretty impressed with, for you know five pounds I've got this little little dress it's like black with like lace over it some stud detail lace sleeves little lace frills and it is actually like a really comfy dress like it's the right amount of like stretchy like it's not like you know some gross like swimsuit material it's like a proper material but it's got a bit of stretch in it because you don't want to be like stuck in your dress all night so honestly this is just like a good dress I like the dress and again they cut, I just noticed that they cut the label out. <laughs> they just, they just cut the name out. I don't know why they do that. Like why do they want to hide where they got it from? So this pair I absolutely love. I think they are so cute and they are actually really comfortable. They're kind of like a brogue style. Like they've got that like the lace up and the detail around here, but they have a little heel and they've got some studs around the the stitching and the toe area they are actually super comfy the laces are really stiff like the actual shoe and material is really stiff so like pulling the laces through is a bit of a ball ache but once they're on they do I like my shoes to feel like firm and like like I'm in a good shoe and that's what they feel like and they're really comfy so I just think they're so adorable this thing is kind of weird um, but it's cute like it is it is cute it's like a dress um, and it looks like it should be like really thin and like see-through but it's lined the one thing I will say is that this strap came broken like it's hanging on by like one thread and it should be sewn on properly with that so I'm gonna have to fix that but like no big deal um, but it's actually really cute like I just loved I loved the um, waist bit the way it like goes down a triangle and I thought this would be really cute with like some leggings and maybe a little like cardigan or loose like light jumper over the top like it would just be a really nice like I would never wear this on its own like that's just not my kind of thing 
but I feel like it could make some really cute outfits and it's also really comfy so I'd probably wear it in the summer just like around my house or something but yeah it's it's really adorable and I like it oh next pair of trousers I love these these are really comfy and they fit me so well like you know when you just put on a pair of trousers or like a dress or something and it fits you so comfortably and in such a, such a nice way that you just feel like these were made for me um, do you know what I love doing hauls from everything five pounds because I don't have to say how much everything was but it's also like elasticated around the back so like it will just fit your waist so nicely and then the pleats make it look so good around your hips and it's just like oh yes I'm a boss mm. I love them they're really nice these not so nice trousers I wanted to uh, take a little take a little dip into the uh, velvet trend uh, no, not a good one, Don't, not a fan, not a fan of that whatsoever. I got these velvet high-waisted uh, trousers and honestly, I like the colour. I really like the colour because it's sort of a goldy olive colour. I do like the fabric, to me it feels nice, like it's not like a gross velvet, it is quite smooth when you stroke it the right way around, um, but it's just, the cut is awful, the crotch is far too long. It has no sort of shape in the sides, so it's just very lumpy. And the actual like material just like sits. It doesn't cling to you because it's not tight, it's baggy, but it just sits. So like when I put them on, it like sits on top of my thighs, it sits in my crotch. It's just like so weird. I don't even know how to explain it. So like these I I think I'm ever gonna wear these. Uh, maybe I'll make like a pillow out of them or something. I don't know, but they are just, um, no. I wore so many trousers. I think it's just cause I spent my teenage years wearing the same pair of black jeans every day with about 10 different band shirts. So now that I'm like 20 and I'm like an adult, I'm like, I want some trousers, you know? Like trousers. So, but these are really cute. They are really comfy. They're like, I'm pretty sure on the website it said they were like cotton. Yeah, they're 98% cotton, which is surprising. Like most things here are all like plastic, but 98% um, cotton and 2% spandex. So they're actually really comfy because they have a bit of stretch in them. They are really, really comfy. This shirt looks, it, okay, honestly, it looks kind of ugly just like this, just chilling. Honestly, it looks really kind of gross. But on, I actually think it's dead cute. Like it's pink. But it's got like, it's quite like fluffy and it's got like shimmery, like shimmery thread all on it. Like, and I just, it's so adorable. I just really like it. And again, I was worried that it would be see-through, but it is lined. So we's all good. No, no titties popping out of this one. I've got a suit, suit to show you. And then one more pair of shoes and then we're done. So, okay, this pair of trousers, I love them. They are black, they're like, um, they have that sort of chiffon -y feel, but they are really comfy. Again, they fit around my waist really well. The zip goes up the back, they fit really well, they look really good on my hips, they are really comfy. I think they look cool, I feel like with a black shirt and some black shoes, you'd be like, oh yes! get it with those florals so like i'm into these and i would definitely actually wear these out with like a shirt and a jacket and a nice pair of shoes you know but it it uh, also has a uh a partner which uh doesn't give off quite the same vibe because when you put this with it it instantly becomes pajama set and it's not sold as pajama set so uh yeah this top just screwed, it's supposed to be a jacket, I think they sold it as like floor printed button up top, so it's supposed to be like a shirt, but it dead ass is like a pyjama shirt, and the other ones aren't pyjama bottoms because you don't get zips in pyjama bottoms, you know, you just get like comfy elasticated, so they are supposed to be like shirt trousers, but this is just dead ass pyjama top, like this is, you can't wear this and actually look like it's a suit jacket or a shirt. It's a fucking pajama top. So um, I'll wear this at home and I'll wear the trousers out, but they're never going out together. <laughs> okay, so this is the last 
thing I got, I got another pair of shoes and oh my god, I love them. So again, with the sort of brogue style, the lace-ups with the cute little detail around the front, but they are double platformed. We've got like a chunk platform here and then like a ridged sole. It looks like it has like teeth, which I think are like wicked, um, to be honest. I think they are cool and uh, edgy and then I think they're grey. So it has like sort of like a stressed, worn sort of like design in it. Like it's got like, like they're not like this is, they're brand new and this is what the picture looks like. They're not just like worn out, but um, that's the sort of style they are. And I really like them. It's like metallic-y, edgy, you know, I really like them. And again, they are really comfortable. The laces are quite stiff. It's a very stiff, like, it's a very stiff shoe, uh, very stiff shoe, but you know, I, I like it. That's quite comfortable for me and I love a good platform for my short ass. So yeah. So that is it for this haul. That is everything I bought from Everything Pride Pounds. Uh, besides a few things I bought for presents, but obviously I'm not going to put that in this video. Tell me if you've bought from this store before. Uh, I know that there are 5% discount codes. I don't have one because I've never contacted them and they've never contacted me, but I know people that do. So what I do is I just go on Instagram and I search everything five pounds hashtag and there will be posts from like bloggers and YouTubers who have said, use my code five something five to get 5% off. So just find one of those and use it. So, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll be back with another haul or tutorial or some kind of thing at some point. So yes. <laughs>